good afternoon, everybody. We sincerely thank you for being here. We appreciate your time. I'm Nathan Russ, that's Madeline Jones, and that's Caleb McMillan. And unfortunately, the fourth member of our group, Madeline Sigmund, could not be here today. We will be presenting you our innovation challenge design, the run for obesity. As a group, when we thought of the idea, encouraging healthy lifestyle in our community, we all immediately thought of obesity and how it's become such a prominent problem in our community today. Just in Wake County alone, 59.9% of adults are considered to be obese or overweight. The U.S. has an even higher percentage, being at 68.9%. That's over half the adults in our country. I don't think that's going to set a very good example for future generations to come. <coughs> to be fair, though, we as a county and a country are not making it any easier on these adults to practice healthy behaviors at home. 51% of restaurants in Wake County are considered to be fast food. On top of that, North Carolina is below the national benchmark for access to recreational facilities. Recreational facilities and their access are extremely important because they can greatly influence people's decision on whether or not to partake in physical activity. Even schools are lowering the amount of physical education brought to our students by reducing the amount of required classes. On top of all the little physical education and overwhelming amount of fast food, families are constantly busy and do not have the time to sit down and have a well-balanced meal, making it even easier to give in to the already overwhelming and obviously easy and cheap fast food. As a result, without the proper influence, we believe that children and adults are not going to be able to practice healthy lifestyles at home. With our solution, we're hoping to change this. Some of the current message methods schools are undertaking in order to prevent obesity are mandatory recesses, healthy foods at cafeteria lunches, and weighing kids in PE. Although these methods are effective, our methods are a little bit different. We have a 5K design with stations set up around the track to inform people of the dangers of obesity, such as high in cholesterol, diabetes, heart attacks, etc. The 5K is exercise itself, and it is, um, it is targeted to all ages, whether you run or walk the 5K. Our solution gives the participants a new outlook on exercise and highlights the benefits of healthy lifestyle. We believe that by informing the people of the negative effects of obesity, that they will be more willing and motivated to live a healthy lifestyle. So we've already talked about the problem, and we briefly discussed the solution. So now it's time to go over the plan. In, this, in the plan overview, we will answer the questions when and where, as well as how we will organize the event. So for starters, we're going to organize a 5K at Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary. Wake Med is a 5K trail that is perfect for runners and is available for rent. We plan to use this for our run. The 5K, pr the 5K pr promotes awareness of obesity and will have slides and will have stations set up around the trail that will give facts and statistics about obesity. These facts and statistics will, give, will tell the harm of obesity in the world. Water will also be set up at each station so that runners who are thirsty may drink. Volunteer and sponsor tents will be set up at the beginning and at the finish line of the trail. Activities will be held after the 5K to promote a healthy lifestyle. We will hold the race annually in fall because the weather at this time is perfect for running. It's not too hot and it is not too cold. As you can see in the screenshot above, we have created a website that outlines our entire project. People may use this website to simply get information about the run or to sign up as a runner, sponsor, or a volunteer. Overall, we put a lot of thought into this plan, and we are working hard to overcome obesity in the United States, starting with spreading the word and giving options and solutions in North Carolina. Are there any questions? <laughs>